Corals grow in clean water. They grow in areas that have high visibility where the sunlight percolates down. And that turquoise that we usually associate with beautiful reefs all over the world is actually the clean water with sand underneath it. And what unfortunately is happening all over the world is that color is fading. Color is fading because the corals are being replaced by weedy algae. Seaweeds that are in a growth frenzy, rising up across the reef, killing it, smothering it, keeping other corals from growing up, keeping fish and invertebrates from going about their lives. That algae is growing much more quickly than it used to be. because of the extra nutrients that human communities are putting into the sea. Where do those nutrients come from? They come from sediment that washes down rivers. That sediment has another problem that it generates for reefs, so that it itself covers the reefs, smothers them, kills everything underneath. It's the legacy of poor construction practices. It's a signal that people weren't being careful. And it doesn't have to be that way. What's the best way to save the reef? Do it from the beginning. When you build the resort, when you build the development, do it in such a way that you don't generate erosion, pollution, and the smothering that can kill the reef. The irony is that you've got places that are really attractive because they have beautiful natural reefs that have been there for centuries. And the very act of putting in the resort or the development so that people can see those things destroys them.